Welcome each and every one of you to episode number 6 of my Monster Hunter World series. So this one will be a little bit special, but just a little bit. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do an optional quest. It's this one, and this one is pretty easy and will go down pretty fast. And it's um, capture Kuluyaku. So capturing is another thing that um, you might have to do at some points with monsters instead of killing them and um, it's not really harder it's a little bit more complicated and it's kinda confusing to new players a lot of times even though I think like tutorials to that are a little bit better now than back in the day with Monster Hunter Try I, I still remember like how I couldn't maybe you hear dogs in the background now those are my dogs like the dogs of my family um, okay, we can embark. So, um, yeah, basically, back in the day with Monster Hunter Try, I couldn't figure out how to capture a monster, so I actually just uh, went to watch YouTube videos about it, and at some point I just uh, I found out. And um, so what you do is you hurt an, a monster until it is almost dead, and you can see that like um, on the way they walk. I mean, um, I think you notice you, you have most likely have noticed that in the early episodes, when they're close to death and they want to go sleep, they um, move like they are uh, hurt in some way, like they're injured, and that is the case. So what you do is you have to um, damage them until they're injured, and you can see that uh, in the way they walk, and then you have to set up a trap. And then throw the tranquilizing bombs at them. So it's not really harder, sometimes even easier because you don't have to do that much damage. And actually, if you know what you're doing, it's pretty easy once they are hurt. Um, but you need some extra resources the tranquilizing bombs and the traps. Um, but you actually get better loot from them, you can't carve them when you um, capture them instead of uh, killing them but you get so much extra loot j for the um, capturing that it's almost all the time worth it and also and that's a little fun fact um, if you have the quest to uh, kill a monster you can actually just capture it and that will count as a completed quest but uh, however you cannot kill a monster in a quest where you're supposed to um, capture it. So let's hope that we find it pretty fast. Okay, there's the Rathian. I don't want to fight that thing right now. Even though I could actually, but uh, y you know what? I think I know what this episode is going to be. I, th I had different plans. So my plan was um, to um, ah, that's pretty aggressive okay uh, my plan was actually to do this quest and after that I wanted to oh, 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 oh. I think I poisoned him which is good but I don't want to be in the poison right now um, so actually I wanted to do the main quest after this one because I thought like uh, only capturing a uh, Kuluyaku is a little bit too less for an episode because uh, I would kill that thing pretty fast. But yeah, um, you notice I took way less damage than I took like... Um, last episode because I upgraded my armor in between uh, I used uh, the those um, uh, I forgot the name of those items uh, the things I Amosphere? I think Amosphere is the name yeah I used Amosphere to upgrade my armor and I also use a Morphex right now and now let's get to the usual thing that we do um, let's talk about the weapon I'm using the Morphax is a very offensive weapon. It does not have a um, block. 
it's kind of slow and s stubby at times, like you can see right now, but it got good range. And um, so weapons that don't have a block button, um, like the Morphex, and the hammer as well, usually have uh, some kind of special move assigned to the usual block button. And um, in this case, this is pretty cool. So it is a morph axe, so the axe can morph and it turns into a sword. And I'm doing that right now. And now I, I'm, have, uh, I'm at the sword mode and it actually, like, it needs, like, uh, charges. And yeah, you see, like, uh, that's pretty cool what you can do with that. Once you go into sword mode, uh, it, you can dish out immense damage, but um, then once uh, all the charges are gone, your axe will be force transformed back into the axe form, and y you then, like, gain back your charges while fighting. Um, And yeah, basically the the Morf Axe is one of the little bit more harder to use weapons, mostly because you have no block button and the mobility is pretty limited. Um, no matter in which form your weapon are, is, you basically have no really good uh, mobility options on this on uh, the Morf Axe. Um, So yeah, like in the sword mode you have some attacks where you move forward, but mostly like they have a lot of recovery and you won't be able to... Um, okay, he's up there. Okay. So the, the moves have a lot of recovery and even though you move a little bit forward, like... It's not that much. And the X version actually has pretty bad mobility. You have no really advancing attacks or anything like that. And um, I wanna. I actually wanna sharpen my weapon real quick. Okay, so yeah, y um, you have no really mobility, and also uh, you have no extra mobility in the kit. And there's actually a little drawback, and I'd, I'm not 100% sure if that's that's in this game still, but in some games. Um, the Morph Axe actually had um, some attacks where if you do a dodge cancel after attacking, you're not going to do a roll, but instead you're actually going to um, go into a sidestep similar to what you do when you use the... Um, uh, similar to what you do when you use the uh, Lance. So. Yeah, there you go. Like, I just did a sidestep when I tried to roll cancel. Like there, that's uh, definitely a mobility nerf. So, um, that's the reason the weapon is one of the harder ones to use. Uh, the lack of mobility and uh, the lack of a good block button makes this weapon like pretty much uh, like it's super offensive and very high risk high reward. You can dish out huge amounts of damage. You have a huge range, and um, especially if you use the sword mode at good moments, like you can dish out so much. But um, you lose mobility and defensive capabilities. So this is a pure offensive weapon, and also when you play with other people you have to be cautious because you have this uh, this move which is a pretty good move overall um, especially against big opponents like uh, the, the Rathian if when you want to hit the tail for example or if he flies a little bit you can get some good hits in with that um, when you hit your f other players with that move in particular they you will send them flying and that's not good it's not good to s to um, kick around your own um, mates. That's always a bad thing to do. It's definitely a factor of uh, if a weapon is an easy to use weapon or not. Like, definitely comes into play how they interact with other players. And the Morphex can seriously mess up your um, 
other players. I think the guy, the, the Rathian is eating right now. I do not like that. Oh no, he's fighting with the Barath. That's actually good. I don't know who wins the fight, but definitely a good thing that they will hit each other a little bit. The Rathian does not, is not too interested. I think that Rathalos, uh, th uh, that, oh, damn it. I actually think that the Barath uh, wins the fight between these two. And we mount him. That was some good damage. Okay, um, the Rathian is uh, exhausted right now, which is really good. You can see how I just can like clap him so much uh, but now he's angry again I guess no 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 that was just one fire attack that's that's very okay Come on, give me the good attack. There we go. I think uh, the Rathian should be pretty damaged right now and also the my, my, the sharpness of my weapon is very low right now so oh that's not good oh boy Okay. So things can go down here with the Rathian pretty quick if you do some mistakes. That was actually a mistake, but I was a little bit lucky. Oh, I I cannot fight him right now. I need to um resharpen my weapon. Pretty sure he should uh, leave. The yeah, I just wanted to say he's he should be about to leave the vicinity, so that's good. Definitely want to go after him. So uh, how things can go downhill with Rathian very very quickly is. Um, Rathian obviously can make you burn. Burning is not a good thing to happen to you. But Rathian also can poison you with uh, his backflip tail whip. And that is disgusting. Because that move, like when you get hit by that move, things can like turn out to get really bad for you. 
because uh, the move also has a high rate of uh, stunning you. So uh, sometimes you like this move, but I think it can't poison you once it loses his tail. Not 100% sure though, it definitely does less damage. And also some of his uh, of Rathian's running attacks are very that was actually a pretty dangerous situation there. Some of uh, Rathian's running attacks can be pretty disgusting as well. Um, especially like the hitboxes can be very unreasonable at times to be honest. Oh, I broke some parts. <laughs> okay, he just tail whipped that guy. Uh, she. Rathian is uh, female. All Rathians are female. Um, the male version is a n different monster. Oh. Oh, what, what, what was that? Okay. So, Rathian is exhausted right now, which is pretty good. And Rathian is uh, also hurt pretty badly okay so where's Rathian going That's a bomb it's to the south <coughs> I really hope that I don't just miscalculate and lose the crest now because I waste too much time with uh, Rathian but even then I think um, this this is this is going okay. I think this is going okay. Um, the kept the Kulu Yaku. I think I will damage that thing very very fast. So also it got some hits in. So I'm very confident that this will turn out pretty good. Maybe I can let him sleep. Yeah, I can let him sleep, and I should be able to just walk over here. Go into sword mode and do like my overcharge attack. Okay, and he goes into rage mode immediately, but this should be almost over. Oh boy, that was a pretty hard hit. Oh, oh boy. Okay, okay. I just got, uh, I just got a little bit too comfortable there. But uh, yeah, you could see how, the, like, two hits, and that's it. Like that is how, how the fight with Rathian can go down. I mean, uh, I upgraded my armor, but I think I just, I th uh, like, I got a little bit too comfortable because the few times I got hit, I actually wasn't hit by too strong attacks, so I felt very, I felt very good about the fight and all, and, th like, wait, this is not, 
I think uh, I because I have the Kuruyaku crest, um, I actually got the track of Kuruyaku and not the one to Rathian, which is pretty stupid right now. This is a waste of time. <laughs> Okay, um, so it should be there. There we are. Tough skin fruit. Yeah, pick that up. Okay, now on to the last section of our fight with Rathian. Let's not get uh, too comfy here with um, our low mobility. Okay. Get like one hit in and do a dodge. There we go, Rathian Slade. Like that is how close it was. I actually almost got that. Ah. So now we collect this and then we go and hunt the Kuluyaku. That was a little detour. Do I have a survey for... Uh, no, I don't have. Okay. Never mind. I am going to leave now. I think this is supposed... Like, I think the flies show me a good way. Wait, I want to sharpen my weapon real quick. And I want that. I want. Also, um, I think I know what uh, next weapon I want to use. It most likely is going to be um, the longsword. The longsword is actually one of my absolute favorite weapons in the game. I'd say the longsword is also one of the little bit more advanced weapons, but it's I think easier to use than the Morphax. Reason for that mostly being you don't lose the ability to roll cancel and I think it's easier to get good DPS going with the longsword than it is with the Morphax. But you'll see about that in the next episode. And the the Longsword has one little difficulty thing though, which definitely um, is a factor mostly for multiplayer. Because similar to the Morphex, where you can mess up your teammates pretty badly if you hit them with certain attacks, um, with the Longsword it is like you mess up your teammates with all of your attacks. And if you just carelessly just throw out your attacks, you basically screw over your whole team. Which is super annoying to deal with. Oh. Maybe it can even like do a Rathian weapon. Like uh, there is a, a definitely a Rathian longsword. Maybe I can make that. I really want to do uh, like a jump attack against him and mount him. But he just was sitting so far away from any possible jump thing. Place to jump. I also need to mine ores because that is one of my missions that I have right now. You can see that. Oh, I think my 
Uh, my my uh, timer went off. Yeah, I was supposed to get up right now, but I was just I just got up earlier than I planned. I'm a little bit tired, but it's okay. I had a nice morning. I had a good breakfast. Uh, <laughs> I was able to listen to the guy who invaded my last episode. How he raged about Monster Hunter. <laughs> he likes to rage about video games. It's very enjoyable. I don't know why he thinks that he isn't entertaining to listen to. Wait, I can use that, right? Yes! Jump attacks are so satisfying in this game. So I really hope I'm just going to go all out on him and really hope that I don't accidentally kill him. Well, I I just mounted him with that attack. That was weird. I think that was what happened against Rathian as well, right? Super weird. Like I haven't used Morph X in this game too much, so I'm not too familiar with the newer concepts of the weapon. But the weapon is cool. Not necessarily my weapon of choice though in most cases. Uh, I just never got to use the Morph X too much. Like back in Monster Hunter Try it was like you started with um, the hammer, b great sword, lance, sword and shield, and the bow guns. And um, the Morphex and the um, long sword were actually like the special weapons that you get access at a certain point. And you actually got access after you killed the Barath. So basically, you got access after you have beaten your first really dangerous opponent. He's he is hurt. I can capture him now. I should be able to capture him now. Okay. Um So yeah, uh, oh man, oh the, the like I'm very confused. Uh I I got confused, but this is uh, this is normal. I didn't jump accidentally, but there are walls that you cannot climb up, but your character can run them up and then jump off them. And um yeah, those were these Um, ba, 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 ba. so yeah, and back then in Monster Hunter Try, it felt it a little bit felt like, oh, you you have to choose if you, are you the Morphex or the Longsword guy because now the new weapons are there, and you definitely wanted one, but uh, materials were um like were were very limited. There we go. I uh, just set up the trap inside of him and then threw the bombs, so that went pretty well. So yeah, back then in Monster Hunter Try, you. Kind of like it felt like that you beat Barath and then they're like, oh, here new weapon types, and then like, oh, you have to kill Barath two more times, and then you can make one of those, and then like you you had to choose you if you wanna take the Morphax or the Longsword. Obviously, later on through the game you could build both, but back then for me it kind of felt like I was dedicated to the Longsword. One of my friends who played the game dedicated himself to the Morphax. And um, yeah, then the, I I just stuck with the mentality of the longsword is my advanced weapon of choice. Now there are a lot of advanced weapons in the game, and there are a lot of cool weapons. But usually, like when they added new kinds of weapons, they added two new weapons usually. And I still like always had this. Where I would just pick up one of the two new weapons and check out that one. And um, back then with Monster Hunter 4, they, when they introduced the jump attacks and stuff like that, um, they also introduced uh, 
two new weapons and uh, similar to how I handled it with the longsword and the morphax and the friend that used the morphax and me using the longsword actually um, it, it was pretty similar but I was playing that with my uh, girlfriend at the time, my ex-girlfriend now and um, she would pick up one of the weapons and I would pick up the other one and we also were very dedicated to those um, but yeah, Monster Hunter, uh, like the old Monster Hunter games just uh, really got me into the franchise and uh, I really enjoy Monster Hunter World and um, now we have uh, checked out the Morphax. Um, as I s said, most of the times not really my weapon of choice, so most likely you won't see that much uh, Morphax usage on this uh, playthrough, but uh, maybe I pick up Morphax every now and then. And now I want to go into the armor set, and let's let's look. Okay, um, I unlocked some n uh, neutral armor sets, I guess. So uh, West Points are small enemies. I did like a small enemy hunt. As I told, I'm doing some quests, like gathering quests and killing small monsters. I will do those off camera. And I got a Gajau, also a small monster. Uh, but Gajau only gives me boots. Let's check out these boots. Those are some fine boots, but it's a little bit sad that there's only boots. Um, uh, but let's check the West Point armor. And I think this armor is pretty cool. I don't know, I kinda think I can... S I, I see some kind of samurai vibes here. Just slightly. Not sure though. Maybe I'm imagining things, but I think the armor is pretty cool. Um, let's see, do we have Rathian armor? Yes, and the Rathian armor is a very classical knight's armor, which is pretty cool. Um, but I think I'm also not gonna make this armor. And you can see the color is different. It's, uh, like yellow and not white because that's, it's a higher tier of, of armor. So, yeah, um... That's our first higher level weapon that we just got from killing a monster that we're not supposed to deal with right now. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, I think that was, it was a good decision to do that. Now let's uh, just check out the upgrade mechanics and let's check out the katana and what we can do with that. There we can go into the Rathian katana. I need more Rathian stuff to, to make this weapon though. So maybe I will tr make a bone tree weapon. Um, no, nah, I guess I guess I I'll go this this route. Let's let's make that right now. So the katana, uh, like the the longsword, are like katana style weapons. Mostly there are some that uh, go a little bit different route. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll hunt like one or two more Rathians off camera and then I will show up with this Wormblade Leaf, which actually will be way too strong for the part I will be at at that time. But um, otherwise, I might just uh, use the weapon I'm using right now. The what is that? Um, the first dance. I think it's the, yeah. It, it was the Kuduyaku. Uh, weapon right anyways uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and next episode we're going to proceed a little bit more on the main quest and I hope you enjoyed this episode and goodbye